eating my own. My teaching was very fast. The title of today's message is called The Battle of Manifestation. If you want to collect your own, that's the first battle. I touched on it during our series on operating in the supernatural, harvesting the supernatural, but now we want to collect. Therefore, we need to visit it more deeply. What does it mean to manifest? To manifest is making the supernatural appear in your physical world. Is that possible, Pastor? Yes, it is. All blessings are spiritual. Therefore, for you to give a testimony means the spiritual has moved into the physical. And we have one example of our Lord Jesus Christ. He had ever existed in the spirit. But one day, something happened. John chapter 1, verse 14 to 15. John chapter 1, 14 to 15. Yep. And the world became flesh. And the world that was existing before time suddenly became flesh. And dwell among us. And dwell among us. And we beheld his glory. Uh -huh. The glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. John bore witness of him and cried out, saying, 15. Yes, 15. Uh -huh. This was he of whom I said, uh -huh. He who comes after me uh -huh. is preferred before me, uh -huh. for he was before, before me. me. So he was before everything, and then he man when he appeared, his glory showed up. That means that there is a connection between manifestation and having glory. You cannot manifest without being glorified. Your glory must show, your glory is your manifestation. When Jesus showed up, his, what did he say? Full of glory. He manifested with his glory. Your glory is all the things that will make people celebrate you. All the assignment God gave you, all the achievement you will achieve those things are your glory it can come in money it can come in wisdom it can come in career it can come in ministry it can come in marriage in childbearing it can come anyhow it can come anyhow as god would intended it and so shall it be so when jesus showed up his glory showed up some of you showed up but your glory is not there no something is wrong say i must manifest and it shall be with glory in the name of Jesus. And, you know, the title is Battle of Manifestation. Meaning there's a battle. Now, um, let me go further. I, I want to be fast. Um, the highest point of manifestation, or rather, sorry, let me put it this way. You are not fulfilled until you are manifested. Manifestation is a climax of fulfillment. Manifestation is the highest point of fulfillment. It's the highest evidence that you have been fulfilled. When Jesus came in as a Messiah, the scriptures were fulfilled. Everything about him were fulfilled because he came. If he didn't come in the form that he, God promised he will come, then that desire, that uh, 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 glory is not fulfilled. But he came and he, he did everything for us and he went off, went back to wait for us because he has done everything and he's coming back for us. Shall we clap for Jesus for that? Amen. So, when we say you manifest, we mean you are fulfilled. Because fulfillment is zero unless you are manifested. So, manifestation is the highest. Climax means the ultimate. Is it understood? Of
When you are manifested, then you are fulfilled. But let me help you with the scripture. But some people may not understand me. Look, go back to Luke chapter 4, verse 21. Luke chapter 4, verse, verse 21. 21. New King James. And he began to say to them, uh-huh. Today this scripture is fulfilled. He said, Today the thing they said that will happen has just happened. And I'm talking to somebody here. You will say the same thing after today that you are fulfilled. There are power that say you will never be. There are power that say you will never be. They say never. I say unto you by the reason of this word of God in Luke chapter 4 verse 21, you shall announce your fulfillment. <laughs> Jesus said today that thing they have been prophesying is before you. You will say and I speak to you under the authority of this commission in the name of Jesus. I as from now, this very moment, I commission you to announce your fulfillment. 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 In the name of Jesus. Jesus said, today, what has happened? Uh, you may be seated. Today, what happened? He said, case closed. I'm talking to somebody here. The battle to keep you down ends today. The battle to keep using your things and leave you in misery ends today in your favor. You that is here and they say the world must not know about you. Because if the world knows about you, Satan will be in danger. Kingdom of darkness will be in tatters. I announce you now! I say, I announce you now! John said, this is whom of you had told you that it was before me. And it's greater than me. It's preferred than me. Meaning it's greater than me. Today, those who think they are greater than you because they use your things, they shall serve you as your servant. In the name of Jesus. Everyone that is using witchcraft or cultism and all kinds of coven power, marine power, serpent to rule in Namibia, they shall serve people in this church. They shall serve people in this church. They shall serve people in this church. They shall serve every child of God. In the mighty name of Jesus. You may be seated. We are in for something today. Now, this is where the battle starts. Satan and his agents, they hate the word, one word. Testify. They don't like it. I remember the first attack they gave to our church. When they wrote, they said, Pastor, they said, title, Segregation of Family. And it was written by one policeman. <laughs> Uh, and then they were calculating things they said I was using to segregate family the first thing they say is that the church will tell people what to say and they will come to the front and they will be talking about their families the, the, yeah, yeah, yeah to say we come to the church we tell you go to the church when you reach there go to the front and say I want to testify my family this my family that I laughed I said Namibia whoa it was so interesting. <laughs> now, <laughs> testimony is in the Bible. If you doubt me, you go to the book of Acts, you see that the first thing the, the apostles did, the moment the Holy Spirit started moving within them, when they went, go and they would gather together and they would share testimony of how the Spirit of God was moving among them. Even when they sent apostles out to go and um, uh, minister, when the apostles come back, they come back to the brethren, they gather together and they begin to testify. Amen. Satan doesn't like testimony. Why? Testimony reminds Satan. One, he lost you. Two, there's a greater power. Three, 
He is not the Alpha and the Omega. He has no final say. And that he doesn't like. Once Satan enters people's life, the first thing he does is to play God. Most of these people, especially those of them in Namibia here, who mock God. The reason why they have the audacity and temerity to mock God is because they fully believe the lie that Satan told them that he is God. Satan will come, show them power, some little power that he has, bring out some flashy things, disappear, appear, make certain things happen, the little they can do. And then he goes on and the people believe him. So because he has shown himself, he begins to make them understand, oh no, there is no God, I am God. There is nothing, I am this, I am that, I am that. And that is why Satan hates anybody who wants to live in a way that God will use the person to manifest himself. He will not let it. If a pastor comes to Namibia and he wants to walk in righteousness, they take him down. If a pastor comes to Namibia and he wants to walk in holiness, they either corrupt him, they compromise him, or they mess him up, or they send him away. Why? Because they believe that they have a God. One of them told me, you have your God. We have our own God. I said, really? I said, well, you may have your own God, but there's only one God, and that is my God. That's your God. I can kill him, but you cannot kill my God. He said, what? I said, you heard me very well. That's your God. I can kill him. Bring him. I will kill him, but you cannot near my God. And that your God cannot kill me. He said, eh? What are you talking? I said, I'm talking Bible. So when you come here to give testimony, you are giving, you know what they call terrible destruction to the camp of the devil. Why? Satan works by rumor. Satan works by spreading lies. The Bible says he's a father of all lies. So, Satan will spread lies that he's Alpha and Omega. And they believe him. Satan could, could deceive angels in heaven. Two thoughts of them followed him. He deceived them. How much less human beings that are of lesser uh, intelligence. He easily sweeps them away. So when I see them, I remember one day, I saw one of these occult. And somehow, it's uh, unfortunately part of my in-laws. Yeah. So I was there with my wife for another time. I saw. I said, "What will I do to this man now? I want to. I want to shake him up." So I just said, "Okay, Meme, come." She looked at me. She knew I want to do something. She knew my face has changed. So she just came. I just touched her. She fell. Boom! Into my car. The man said, "Hey, why did you do that? Why did you do that? Why did you do that?" I say, I want to show you that you don't have power. If I wave my hand now, you will fly. I will throw you out. I can throw you out of your compound. Oh, oh. I say, it's oh, oh, oh. it's complaining. Oh, 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 oh. Why did you do that? Oh, oh, oh. Why, why, why did you do that? He's, he's running away from me. He's, oh, oh. he's moving, giving up. Why did you do that? I was just laughing. I say, I got you. I told him, I say, I got you. You go to those meetings. I, I told him, you go to those meetings and do those things you do. You think you have power. You have not met a child of God. That pastor you people killed is not a child of God. That pastor you people compromised is not a child of God. That pastor that you think you can do this or do that is not a child of God. The day you meet a child of God, you will know that God is almighty. Amen. I said, I just showed you a little. Since that day, if I'm here, you will make sure it's somewhere in Oshukuku. He doesn't want to near me. This series is about God showing that he's almighty. You don't know how much... You see, all of you sitting out here, you have one common problem. Every one of us. You know the problem? 
Satan is not interested if you have a car. As long as that does not glorify God, you can have it. You can marry. If that marriage is not going to glorify God, no problem. You can have that job. Is as long as it's not glorify God, no problem. You, you had the story. You had the story. I, I, I kept on telling him, I said, um, I'm going to push you. I want to teach you a lesson. Later, you will teach some small boys, small girls, and some of these people some things with your testimony. I told him, I keep telling him. I said, no, listen, you want to manifest without a battle. No, you need to know there is a greater power. God will first of all allow the devil to enter your life and announce himself. I am, mm. then God will be watching you. Will you believe him or will you come to me? I started giving him scripture. I said, go to this, go to that, go to that. So one day, I gave him one scripture, Psalm 7. You don't know what Psalm 7 is. You don't read it anyhow. It's a, it's a terrible psalm. I gave him Psalm 7. And I said, let me see what he will do. He read Psalm 7, 7 times. They had them stop. Pah! He said, Pastor, I read it more than 7 times. I read it, I don't know how many times he said read it. He read it 21 times. In one night. That night is like they will kill him that night. And I said, you are fighting a battle to come up. That is the greatest battle. Every one of you here are at that in one stage of the battle or you have not started. Yes. Satan, for you to come here and say, praise God, blah, 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 this, that, that, this, that, that, and now I am this that they say I shouldn't be. Oh, you have just destroyed if you know how many demons have killed themselves, destroy themselves so that they don't hear that testimony. And their agents, you see, all over. I remember the day I, I went to one shop to buy something. I, look, I was looking for fruit. And one of the occult people, I know them. They, they don't know that I know them. They think that only them know me. I know every one of them. And when they go to their meeting, I see them. When they go into their cove, I see them. When they were planning to arrest me and do what I saw them. It's not that I didn't see them. God was walking his way. I, 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 they are so foolish. They think that they know everything. And you don't know. No, they don't know a child of God. When you see a child of God, before they move to that farm, I see them. When they are setting the altar, I see them. Sometimes you see them, they are setting the table, they want to put white cloths because they have to have sex to do this. And they will set up a table, they, or uh, sometimes they, they don't have time for a table, they will cut a stick and make a platform and they put white cloth on it. And the man will tie white cloth, and the woman will tie white cloth. They don't have anything on their, uh, their chest and they go to want to have their sex to do it. That is, a, that is how they do their sex to take your things. That's how they do their sex to fight you back. I'm watching at them. Sometimes I will just say fire. Or I throw them. You see them. Boof! They scatter. I go and sleep. I don't, those things. That's why I want to teach you how to command. You see this series? If you have not learned how to command, you will learn it by force. Amen. There is no other way. It's not prayer. We're not here for prayer. Mm -mm. We're here to command. Hmm. So the other day, la in fact, last night, no, the night before, this, this ritual they were making, for this service. <laughs> this way they were doing it. That way they were doing it. Now they were doing it. <laughs> I said, God, one, oh yeah, fire. They were crying. You see them coming to cry. They don't have the power. The problem is that you don't want to believe it. As long as you don't believe that God is real, that's why I allowed him to give that testimony that way. It's not that God didn't see that he was having that problem. God wants to see, will you trust me? Will you believe me? Will you understand that I am greater than them? Yeah. Until you come to that level, you will never win a battle. Nobody will command unless you have authority. As long as you know your authority and you can use it, you can command. So, you are sitting down here. Like when you started doing sorrow, I kicked him nicely. So what? I, I keep on warning people. I say sorrow is a license for self-destruction. I don't allow it. It doesn't near me. I can't be sorrowful. It's impossible. It, have you, how many of you have ever seen me sorrowful? Impossible. Impossible. Can't do. 
We are looking for it in English. It's not there. Impossible canto. Why? The moment you are sorrowful, they win. Sorrow means you've lost hope in God. You lost hope in yeah, they win. They want you where they want you. Tell anybody they want you where they want you. And what is that? Meaning, stay where we put you. Why we shine for G- for Satan? How many of you are going to tolerate that? Stand up and say no. Stand up and shout no. Stand up and shout no. Shout no. Shout no. Shout no. If you know what that thing you shout means to them, oh, you have just caused disaster. I want you to do it again, shouting like you madly, madly know it that it will happen the way you say it. Shut it! <laughs> aim! 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 And so shall it be. Yeah. You may be seated. So, I'm talking. I want to go back to that scripture. Now remember, Jesus was in his hometown. Where he made that script with that um Luke chapter 4, verse 21. And he just became oh, well, you may call him an adult that time because that is what they used to uh in the Jewish tradition, when you become an adult, they allow you to read from the book of Moses. The Torah. Before it was called the Bible, it was called the Torah. How many of you know that? It was called the Torah. And then, he went to read from the Torah to announce that he is a man now. So he must be around 12 years or 13 or something like that. Around that. Between 12 and 15. And do you know what it means for Jesus to stand up in his people older than his fathers were there. People who saw the day Mary was uh, con- um, Mary gave birth, they were there. And all that they were there. And he said, This day you are seeing the person they've been talking about. Oh, somebody clap for Jesus. <laughs> do you know how many demons tried to stop Jesus from being born? Eh? Oh, okay. Oh, you think it's only for you? <laughs> Remember? They went as far as going into Herod and making Herod to kill. We don't know how many he killed. But we know that he killed like coming to commerce region and killing every baby that was born within a range of time that he calculated that Jesus would have been born. Is it not so? So we don't know how many. He killed many. Many women were rendered hopeless. Many women kill themselves when they saw their child, little child, a whole man with a sword, swah, into the baby. If you watch that film, they try to dramatize it a little. But if you watch it, you as a mother, you, you close your eyes, unless you're a witch. You see a child running, running. Some children even run to the, the, the soldier because it's, it's, it's an adult. He's running anywhere, any adult. No, the soldier will wait for him, he run, he will just take the sword, swah, into the child. Little baby. Who, who were they looking for? Somebody that just showed up. Uh, rather, somebody that want to show up. Or rather, somebody that, sh- anyway, he put it. Because Jesus was just born. He was just born. He was a baby. So what were they do, looking for? To kill that manifestation. I told you the story one of our fathers in the Lord t- said. And I believe it because he is our father in the Lord. That woman that want to give birth to that child. Remember that story? As the baby was coming out, a boy. She gave birth to a, a, a girl. No problem. But the boy, <laughs> the moment the baby's head come out, a f- power came from nowhere with a sword. Pa! Cut off the baby of the, the head of the baby. While the body was still inside the mother's womb, it cut off the head. The doctor ran. 
the nurses ran. Blood spittered everywhere. Who did it? They couldn't find. He, they, she started praying again, conceived again a boy. The same thing happened. What were they looking for? To stop the manifestation of that star. Say every power. That say I will not be manifested. I kill you now. I kill you. Jesus. You may be seated. When you see some powers, now I want to show you something today. You see some powers. They say, I give back, I give back. They easily give back. What are they giving back? Did you get it? Did you get it? No, you didn't get it. They gave back spiritually. And because it is not manifested physically, they don't care to give it back. They will give it back. And they will find a way to go and take it. They will come through, you will make you to even sign for it without knowing you signed for it. As long as that thing has not showed up in the physical, it is still contestable. It is still a battle that can be fought. You are born today. They cannot stop you from being born. It's harder to stop you when you are born than before you were born. That's why some women, you see them battling. Yes, they can't have a child. It's not that they are barren. No. There is a child that they must give birth to. And that child is a child of destiny. And that child is a thorn in the flesh of Satan. They will stand against that child. They will fight against that destiny. They will oppose it. They will scatter everything they need to be scattered. They will come after that child. By any means. Why? To make sure that destiny does not manifest. Say, I shall manifest. Say, say it seven times. Shout it seven times. In the name of who? Jesus. You may be seated. So, some people, when I see them here, they tell them, okay, they give back. They start clapping. I say, it's good to clap. But that is just spiritual victory. The other victory that makes it testimony is not the spiritual victory. It is this victory of transition from spiritual to physical that leads to testimony. Today, you must transit. Okay, you didn't understand me. I said, you must transit. Thing that they say you will never be that thing they say you will never have that thing nobody has ever had in your family that God sent you to have and they say it must remain in the spirit I push it into the physical I push it 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 if it's a child you shall have it if it's a marriage you shall have it if it's the education, you shall have it. Amen. If it's money, you shall have it. Amen. If it's career, you shall have it. Amen. If it's inheritance, you shall have it. Amen. Whatever it is, you are receiving it now. Amen. Say my testimony. my testimony. Why are you in this in the spiritual? Why are you in the spiritual? Manifest now where I am. Manifest now where I am. In Jesus' name. Listen to me. When this young man, I allowed him to give that testimony because he caught many things out. He caught many, many. He was rushing. He, he, he tried. Because if you were to allow him, we would still be now. It was nasty. You know what they call nasty? But I wanted him to be so, so that he can, he can encourage some of you. 
<laughs> Imagine this degree he has now has been there in the spiritual. But as long as he remains there, Satan is okay. Oh, I don't know whether you understand me. It's okay because he can't come and say, I have a de- master's degree when we don't see it. Is it not a lie? Eh? Hey, hey, it becomes a lie, you know so. Yeah. So some of you, your husbands are in the spirit, they are waiting. Satan is saying, eh, eh, what? Stay there. Eh, 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 stay there. You can't come and say, I'm married now. We we'll say, ah, where is he? Say, ah, this man, I think he's uh, uh, elders will summon you to the elders committee. Uh, they ask you very hard questions. And they say, I think you don't belong to this church. You want to tarnish the image of Christ. Oh yeah, forward march. Oh yeah. We we'll keep you in the house to go and repent and, and look after your soul. Why? Is it not so? Because you, you we don't see evidence. I say today you shall see evidence. Yeah. Say, I want you to shout it. My evidence. Yeah. I'm here now! seated. We are going to shout it again. But let me re- re- share the scripture with you. Joshua, go to Joshua 21. Because it seems as you don't understand what I'm talking. I'm talking of you fighting the battle you have never fought before. Because the thing you have never had before is about to happen. Yeah. And it must happen. Yeah. That glory they say will never come in the physical. That is assigned to you by God. It has no choice. Today it starts happening in your life. In the name of Jesus. Joshua 21. Verse 43 to 45. Joshua chapter 21. Yeah, 21. Verse 43 to 45. 45. Mm -hmm. So the Lord gave to Israel all the land that of which he had sworn to give to their fathers. Uh, uh, Jacob. I am talking that, as you said this to everyone shall receive. He said, so the Lord gave to what? What he promised them. What God promised you starts coming to you now. They start 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 coming to you now. now. Shout amen. Maybe sit there. Start again. So the Lord gave to Israel, uh-huh. to life changer, all the land of which he has sworn to give to their fathers. And they took possession of it and dwell in it. There are three things there. One, the Lord gave. Two, they did what? And three, they testif- that is testify. Those three must start happening in your life now. I say, I open the door for them to begin to happen in your life now. In the, listen, when you say you have an anointed person of God, it means that when I speak, heaven will authorize it. I am speaking as the anointed of God. And I'm saying that those three things, the promise fulfilled, the possession, and the evidence of dwelling in it, I command them to start happening in you now! 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 In the name of Jesus! Beautiful. Jacob, read it again. Everybody stand. Because you are going to now take evidence. Joshua chapter 21, 
verses 43 to 45. Uh -huh. So the Lord gave to Israel, to all life changer, the land of which he has won to give to us, uh -huh. to, our, to, to our fathers, and they took possession of it and dwelt in it. Mm -hmm. The Lord gave them rest mm -hmm. all around, mm -hmm. according to all that he had sworn to their fathers. And not a man of all their enemies stood against them. The Lord delivered all their enemies into their hands. And not a word failed of any good thing which the Lord had spoken to the house of Israel to all life changer. All came to pass. I want to say something that I never said before in the open. And I'm sure some of you will say this pastor has now become arrogant. I am not. I'm exercising what I'm told. I'm not my authority. I told somebody at the crusade, I said, Namibia is now spiritually under my control. Yeah. Wait. He said, eh? I said, okay. I'm commanding this rain not to fall again until I finish my crusade. The moment you finish the crusade, that night, rain fell. I said, it should fall when I leave. And it fell when I left. You want me to lock down and maybe I can also do it. But I'm here to open it. Yes. I want to say something now. You may not think, you may think it doesn't mean anything. You will see what will happen. I am commissioning, authorizing President Genkop to succeed. He must 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 succeed. In the name of Jesus. Settle. Okay. If you want to doubt what I said about what God said about me. Now watch whether Ken Kok will fail. It will never fail. And because it will never fail, Namibia will never fail. He shall be the best president that Namibia ever had. In the name of Jesus. I can hear forces that are crying right now because I said it. Yeah. When you say something, because I want you to say something now. When you say something, the first thing that the enemy does is to go and check your authority. Okay. The Pharisees came to Jesus and said, by whose authority do you do these things? And he told them, get me a coin. Remember they asked him, shall we pay the tax? The, the, the two questions they asked him that day. And <laughs> after he answered them that question in a very way that they, they don't, I don't think they knew what he was saying. Did they? They don't know. Now, why did they ask that question? Because your authority validates your action. Your authority, authority validates your word. If you issue a statement and there's no backing, it is, it's like pouring water on a stone. And now, you're about to say something that is connecting to the authority God gave me that is in this commission. And when you say it, it will happen. Amen. What is that thing you want to say? My evidence. That I have made it. On this earth. Abia! 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 Abia!
voice. In Jesus. You may be seated. Point number two. Now, that appearance of your what of your evidence is what you call your testimony and that is the one that the devil will fight with everything he has and that is where many of you get defeated see how that young man you had his testimony that was what you call you know abridged it was summarized there were more there were some nights he will call in the middle of the night too. Things are crawling all over his house. Imagine you are lying down and under your bed suddenly there is a, a, a scorpion, there is a millipede or centipede, there is um, a lizard that are not even common in this place that are supposed to be in the north. There, there, there are every, under your bed. You will kill the first set, another set will come. You kill the other set, another set will come. Meanwhile, the cats are crying, everything is happening to run him mad. To make him to give up. So, he's growing. So sometimes he, he can't handle it. He will call. Meanwhile, will pick it up. You know, sometimes when I see some people talk against real pastors of God, I say, you don't know what we go through. You see, go to bed. Sometimes at first something, I was answering somebody's email. For something. That was early. Sometimes it's when it is to five, that's when I, I look for my, where my bed is. Me and this meme to go and sleep. Because we have been in a battle. There are prayers you can't pray here. If I pray it here, some of you will be destroyed. Why? Because you don't have the anointing to handle it. So we have to pray it. I can't give it to anybody. Now, most of those things are not about you being born. No. They are about you showing up. Hey, you can be here but not seen. It ends today. I don't think you understood me. Say anything that will make me. Existing but not living. Anything that makes me exist, but not living, die by fire. In Jesus. Powers that say, I shall be alive but dead. Carry alone. You may be seated. <laughs> so one day, I want to I want to just amuse you before I tell you this. We we'll go to this scripture because there's a big problem we need to deal with now. One day, I will just ask God. I say, Why did you start my ministry this late? You should have started it now. I don't Did you answer me? I said, Daddy, why are you silent? You should have started me a long time. He said, I didn't start you a long time um, late. This is how long you are going to live. You wrote the date for me. He said, this is how long you are going to live. You calculate it. I'm right. I didn't start you late. I just started you on time. You shall start on time. I said, you shall start on time! Oh, 
okay, okay, okay. You will use your mouth to say it. I want you to begin to jump. I shall start on time. 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 Sit. 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 I shall start on time. 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 In Jesus. And so it is. You may be seated. Now open to the book of Ezra. Because somebody is about to wake up today for you. God gave the children of Israel a word many, many years ago through the mouth of Jeremiah. And he said, the thing that was destroyed shall be rebuilt. I was saying, I will see this time. So every time I read the Bible, I start checking. You should learn to learn, read, study the Bible. I start checking. Then when I ran into Ezra, ooh, I saw how God started it. I said, no, 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 no. This is something I must copy. Yes, something I must copy. Big thing I must copy. Ezra chapter 1 verse 1. Extra chapter 1 verse 1. Read it slowly and loud. Extra chapter 1 verse 1. Ezra, yeah. Now in the first year of Cyrus, king of Persia, uh-huh. that the word of the Lord by the mouth of Jeremiah might be fulfilled. Uh-huh. 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 The Lord stirred up the spirit oh. of Cyrus. The Lord did what? Set up the spirit of Cyrus, king of Persia, uh-huh. so that he made a proclamation <laughs> throughout all his kingdom <laughs> and also put it in writing, saying, Read verse 2. Uh-huh. Thus says Cyrus, king of Persia, uh-huh. all the kingdoms of the earth, the Lord God of heaven has given me. That's a pagan king, yeah? A pagan king is talking about Lord God. And he has commanded me eh? to build him a house eh? at Jerusalem, eh? which is in Judah, eh? who is among you oh. of all his people. May his God be with him and let him go up to Jerusalem, which is in Judah, and build the house of the Lord God of Israel. He no. is God. This man is a pagan, a big pagan. I'm speaking to one person here, maybe all of you. And we're going to use it to pray, but let me speak it. You see that person that you are waiting for? That heaven has commissioned to take you to where you are going to shine. To take you to the manifestation. That level 20, level 30 that you need to cover in a very fast time. That person now, 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 under the sound of this authority of God and this commission, I command the mighty power of God to go and stir that person up. Let the power of God stir that person up. And let him not have sleep. Let him not have rest until he has located you. He shall locate 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 you. you. Look at me. Look at me. Don't you ever think that you are an island to yourself. God never made it that way. Otherwise, man should have 200 hands. So they can do many things at the same time. No, we have two. Only two. Two hands, two eyes, two legs. That's all you need. Because the rest will be handled by God. And you have two ears so they can have balance. And one mouth. Finish. And that mouth is one because that's all you need to make every other thing work there is a human being that is existing even now that has been assigned by heaven for your next levels that person the enemy has already located that person and they are sitting on that person. They are trying to kill that person. Oh, shake up, 
they are trying to mess up that person because if they can get rid of that person, then you will not manifest. Arizona! Let my helper manifest. Sit down. I want to pray the prayer, prayer later. Now, if you go back to that scripture, you see that there was a prophecy that was done by Jeremiah many, many years ago. At the time they were talking, 70 years was already gone. If you remember Daniel, the rebuilding never started until after 70 years. Remember? So this prophecy was lacking, sitting down 70 years or so before God said, oh, Zarus, I created you for this assignment. I, I don't know where he read in the Bible. There was no Bible. Whatever he read that said, God has, the Lord God of heaven has commanded me. The man had straight from God. I said, the Lord is sending somebody, an angel, to that person that will take you and bring you out of obscurity into the lamb light. The person that is taking you from that level where you are now to all the levels that the enemy stopped you from going to. That person is now there somewhere. I want you to command that person to show up. You that will take me to where I'm going. Up Now pray this one. Say, Arise, O Lord. If my destiny helper is in trouble, deliver him now. 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 Jesus. Now you are going to pray that prayer. Say, my father, my father. I want to recover everything I lost. Stir up my destiny helper to take me to where I'm supposed to be. Now, 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 now. Stir up my destiny helper to take me to where I'm supposed to be. Stir up, stir up, stir up, stir up, stir up, stir up. Jesus. Look at me. There are some people here. Your destiny helper is the one talking to you now. Amen. But there is a power that blocks you from this anointing. You are going to pray a prayer now. And you may see yourself on the ground if you pray it well. My father, my father. I am not contented with where I am. Because where I am is not where I'm supposed to be. The anointing that will take me to where I am supposed to be. Why are you staying away from me? You are not praying. You better jump. You better cry. Fall, 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 fall. Look at me. Aya taraba taraba taraba. Masika robo shikari ba taraba. Mesera ba torobo shikari ba.
Command it to fall. Command it to fall. Command it to fall. Command it to fall on you. It must fall on you. It must fall on you. It must fall on you. Now you are going to pray this one. Not like you prayed this other one. Please pray it fast. I thought I could finish or go half, but I've not gone half. I will stop wherever I will stop. We'll continue next Sunday, but we need to pray this one. And like a mad person, if you do, the anointing that is here today is awesome. Amen. You must connect to it. Say, my father, my father. My father, my father. Arise. 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 Plug me to the anointing that will change my destiny. In the mighty name of Jesus. Plug me there. Plug me to the anointing that will change my star, my destiny. Plug me there. 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 Plug me to that anointing. Plug me to that anointing. Jesus, you may be seated. Let me show you what I mean. First Kings chapter 3, verse 12 to 15, and verse 28. First Kings chapter 3, verse 12 to 15. Let's see what happened to Solomon. How is it that Solomon had access to God? You will see there was an anointing that was existing that he plugged into. First Kings chapter 3, verse 12. To 15. to 15. Behold, I have done according to your word. Mm -hmm. See, I have given you a wise and understanding heart, uh -huh. so that there has not been anyone like you before mm -hmm. you, nor shall any like you arise after you. Uh -huh. And I have also given you what you have not asked, both riches and honor, so that there shall not be anyone like you among the kings all your days. So if you walk in my ways to keep my statutes, and my commandments, eh? as your father David as walked. As your father David walked. Bah! As your father David walked. That was the anointing that took Solomon to where others could not go. Even David could not get there. Anointing does not take you to where you took you from. It takes you beyond you. Amen. When Elijah asked for an anointing. He got more than where his master stopped. You are not getting an anointing to be like me. You are getting an anointing to be better than me. Anointing that is in this ministry is for creating people who will make Jesus proud in Namibia. In Africa and in the world. Who wants that anointing? He said, if you walk in your way as your father David did. Finish. All those things God gave him were just from that. There was no foundation telling him, no, 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 you cannot have it. No, no, we refuse. No. He said, as your father David did, there was everything was right. Anointing is a platform for elevation. You can't go to the next level without an anointing. It's a platform. It prepares a, a foundation that takes it beyond the foundation. There is no foundation that is higher than the ceiling. Did you understand what I said? There will never be a foundation that is greater than the roof. The foundation will remain down. The roof will remain up. You shall be the roof. We are going to clean to that anointing. I will stop here. We have other things to do next time. But I want us to do because this week is our week of power shift. I want to give you a holiday today. Hallelujah. Now, but we need to pray this one. This is what I came for today. I, is somebody understanding me? Amen. After the altar call, I will call now. Believe me, we are going to connect to the anointing that is going to take you. If it's your own is marriage, it will take you there. 
if that is the level that you need to go so that you will be what God says you should be. If it's childbearing, that child will enter. Yeah. If it is that, whatever it is, qualification, anything, job, anything, you are going to connect today. Yeah. I have no single doubt in my mind that anyone who does this will leave this place rejoicing. Yeah. Even those who are connected anywhere in the world, it is certain that you will enter into that anointing. How many of you are hungry to take back everything you lost? Amen. How many of you are hungry? In fact, how many of you are so hungry that you have forgotten the normal hunger? You are passionate to make it. Say, I will make it. Amen. Whether me like it or not. Uh-huh. So if you walk in my ways uh-huh. to keep my statutes and my commandments uh-huh. as your father David walked uh-huh. then I will lengthen your days uh-huh. then Solomon awoke and, and indeed behold, it had been it was a, a dream. dream today you shall have a dream you have never had before yeah. you see those dreams where they are chasing you you are chasing them they are doing that you are eating from the it's over yeah. today from now the dream you have will be Solomon's type of dream The Lord will announce you and tell you, I will announce you in the physical. I don't like that MM. It's not, it's not full. I want a real MM. In the name of Jesus. Bow your heads now. Bow your heads now.